you uh, all probably just saw the release that we uh, just sent out <coughs> informing everybody about a large uh, house party that occurred in Pittsburgh uh, in a home of a in, a, in the basement of a home uh, on Sunday, August 23rd. Um, we uh, actually just learned about this uh, late yesterday uh, evening, and so uh, this wasn't even part of the thinking and uh, having today's conference, but it's, uh, it's well time nonetheless. So we are in the middle of the investigation at this time. So, you know, we are not prepared to release too many details because we want to make sure that we have the details correct. But we do know that the party occurred on Sunday, August 23rd in the basement of a home uh, in the town of Pittsburgh, uh, largely impacting students of the Pittsburgh Central School District. Um, we uh, have confirmed that there is one individual who uh, has tested positive. We are in the process of doing the contact tracing, identifying other people who may be positive, and uh, we are also now quarantining anybody who we know to have been in close contact with that individual. Uh, because of the nature of the circumstances of being a party in a basement, um, we are uh, hoping to inform the public, particularly parents of any uh, student, child who may have been at this party, uh, to call us, uh, to confirm, to do what we can to clarify any risks, um, but uh, barring that to self-quarantine. Uh, through Sunday, September 6th, which would be two weeks from uh, this uh, incident. Uh, we recognize that school is upon us, and so we want to exercise uh, an abundance of caution to do everything we possibly can to keep students uh, safe and free and so that we can reopen the schools. So uh, I'll take questions about that later on, but in spite of all of this, uh, I do believe that we are still very well positioned as a community uh, as we go into the September and October months, as we go into reopening schools, uh, the prevalence of uh, COVID-19 in our community is thought to be still very low. And although we are still uh, seeing, you know, examples like this of, of, of small outbreaks, um, I don't want people to confuse that with a change in the overall prevalence of COVID-19 in our community. Our job in the health department is to identify these clusters to notify the public as appropriate, to take all the precautions we can to try to keep the uh, prevalence low overall. And so while I can understand while this news might feel alarming, uh, from my standpoint, it's not surprising. We anticipate this. Uh, and frankly, the more of these that we can find and intervene upon, uh, the better uh, standing we will be in to keep the prevalence of COVID-19 down uh, in our community. Obviously the sensitivity right now is that schools are opening and we're coming up on the 14 day period before uh, schools open. And so uh, we want people to be thinking about um, is now the right time to be taking uh, uh, trips outside of the area that are perhaps something that you can defer to another time. Uh, be thinking again about having gatherings in your home, particularly large gatherings indoors with people who are not uh, using precautions uh, for extended period of time. The, these, this is not the, the, the right time to be having, uh, to, to be taking these unnecessary risks. And likewise for visitors, I understand that summer's wrapping up, we want to see any loved ones who might be coming in, but again, think twice about inviting visitors from other areas. And I don't just mean uh, other states where the prevalence might be high. These could be, um, you know, visitors from other parts of New York State or people who you might believe are, are not taking appropriate precautions. Yeah, because at the end of the day, what really is the risk are these gatherings. And as we've seen throughout the summer, um, it's these gatherings of people, large gatherings, uh, particularly indoors, although outdoors is not entirely protective, uh, between people who are unmasked uh, for long periods of time. Now, these are the, the gatherings that we're trying to uh, ask people to be thoughtful about. <clears throat> 